All right, so moving on to the uh, second segment for you guys today. So moving on to the next topic, I will be sharing my thoughts on Kyle Murray's contract. Now, mind you, before I say this, I am a Kyle Murray fan, but I'm going to explain why his contract does not make sense. Not only to me, but you guys watching and listening might agree with me as well. So Kyle Murray obviously signed a fresh five-year, $230 million contract that originally had an independent study clause that was removed from his contract by the Arizona Cardinals three days after the Cardinals gave out his contract. So in my opinion, I think both sides look bad in this scenario. The Arizona Cardinals as a franchise looks bad and Kyle Murray looks bad himself. Now, the reason why the Arizona Cardinals look bad is because they look desperate to have Kyle Murray on this team. Yes, it's hard to find a quarterback that could do things that Kyle Murray can do at the quarterback position. He obviously has a pretty good arm, pretty good deep ball to his arsenal. He can make plays with his legs similar to the way like Lamar Jackson can. Um, it's hard to find a quarterback like this nowadays in the NFL. But how desperate are you to have a quarterback like Kyle Murray further your franchise? Can you really say you're confident that Kyle Murray is going to be your franchise guy for the next five years if you're the Arizona Cardinals? Now let's switch it to the B side and Kyle Murray. Kyle Murray doesn't look good at all. And his agent doesn't look good at all as well after this contract happened because Kyle Murray was demanding that he has money, has a new contract before training camp. You got your wish. And your agent was saying the same thing as well. He goes to the Arizona Cardinals on all uh, social media platforms, especially his Instagram account, wiping out everything, every picture that he had to do associated with the Arizona Cardinals during the offseason. But you got your wish. You got your big contract right before training camp. And it doesn't look good because reading is fundamental. Whether you're me doing a podcast, whether you're an athlete, no matter what you do in this world, reading is fundamental. Kyle Murray and his agent obviously did not read the contract because if you see an independent clause in there and you're just now hearing about it three days later after the fact you put pen to paper and you're complaining about it all over social media and saying it's disrespectful, you're the one who signed the contract. Your agent is the one who showed you the contract. You guys went over it, you put pen to paper. So to me, it seems like Kyle Murray is acting like a little kid when you put your kid on punishment and you take their tablet, you take away their electronics and the kid, and an hour later, you go back and the kid's complaining that I want my tablet. And you're like, man, I feel bad. So I might as well give my kid my electro their electronics back. I might as well let them do what the heck they want to do. That's what the Arizona Cardinals did. They, did. they gave Kyle Murray an independent study clause for a reason. Now, this is so funny to me that Kyle Murray got hit with an independent, uh, independent study clause. My co-hosts, remember, they know the good old days of when we were high school athletes playing football that study hall is something that you have to do it's a requirement for all athletes not any, not even at the high school position but even at the collegiate level in college football uh, college sports so and it reminds me of you have to put in the study uh, study hall hours in order to go to practice in order to play in the games it reminds me of a gpa requirement that you have to have a 2.0 if you're a high school at uh, be, being a former high school athlete college you have to have a 2.3 gpa to be a college athlete that's what it reminds me of uh, comparing Kyle, thinking of Kyler murray because Kyler murray has to have the study uh, well did have to have the independent study clauses at least do four hours of independent study by himself nobody else in the room with him just for four hours a week and you couldn't do that Shame on Kyler Murray. I mean, I can think of so many top five quarterbacks. I can think of top five quarterbacks in this National Football League. I say that for a different day. But I can think of top five, uh, the top five guys in this league that would eat that clause up alive and take it with pride. How many study hours do you think Tom Brady does of game film per week? Probably more than 40 hours per week. Think of Aaron Rodgers. How many, independent, how many study hours uh, study, uh, Aaron Rodgers does of study and film do you think he does a week? Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Matt Stafford. I keep going all day long. So he should be ashamed that he didn't take this with a grain of salt and just prove to the world he could at least study, do game footage for four hours. My reason, I think the Arizona Cardinals gave Kyle Murray this independent study clause in the first place, giving him four hours of independent studies by himself. Kyle Murray has showed that he's not, he is a talented quarterback. Is he a generational talent? No. Is he a top 10 guy, in my opinion? No. Is he willing to take the next step, the next gear, the next level to be a top five quarterback? Hell, even an MVP quarterback in the National Football League? 
No, he's he's like a Ben Simmons, and I like to play my fair share of game, video games by myself. But it was and it's time to get down to business. And you're a quarterback in the National Football League. Kyle Murray has shown he will play around and do whatever and do whatever it takes not to win, and put everything else first. The Cardinal, and the reason why I think of that is I think Kyle Murray does not watch film. I don't think he's watched film over the last two years. And I think why I think this is truly why. Now I I had my ways with Cliff Kingsbury. I don't think Cliff Kingsbury is a good head coach. I've already I've already said that several months ago on this podcast. But he deserves a lot of this blame too of the Cardinals collapsing over the last two seasons after starting off red hot. Let's take it back to the 2020 season where the Cardinals started off six and three. They finished the 2020 year at eight and eight and missed the playoffs after starting off at six and three. Last year, let's talk about last NFL season, 2021 season, where they started off 7-0. They were the last undefeated team in the NFL and finished the season at 11-6. and It got decimated and dominated by the reigning defending Super Bowl champions in the Los Angeles Rams in the wild card game. Now, there's no shame of losing to the Los Angeles Rams, but the way how they got dominated by a divisional opponent that just split the series against in the regular season 1-1 one one apiece, you would have thought the Arizona Cardinals would have fought more fight to, fight to the game, but... And Odell Beckham had a better stat line throwing the ball than Kyle Murray did for the first three quarters of a playoff game. And Odell Beckham only threw two passes in the entire game. So that looks pretty bad for Kyle Murray. And if you're wondering, well, they started off 7-0, but Kyle Murray missed three games. They, Car the Cardinals went 2-1 and one without Kyle Murray in the lineup. So they were just fine without him. Still starting off 7-0 and, and finish off the season 11-6 and, and getting dominated in the playoff game. That doesn't look good. So I think it's too early for Kyler Murray to get this type of money at being on a two, uh, being a um, $230 million guy. I just don't see it. And I'm looking at his record. He's not worth the money. How does an NFL quarterback get a $230 million contract? And he's 22, has 22 wins, 23 losses, and one tie and all of his starts as a starter in the National Football League. That just doesn't make sense. And I know it makes Lamar Jackson top top they're chopping at the bit to have a massive contract. If this guy, Kyle Murray, just got $230 million. I believe in Kyle Murray. Like I said in the beginning of this segment, I think it's rare to find a quarterback in the National Football League that can make plays with their arm and their legs the way how Kyle Murray can do it. He plays a similar style to the way how Lamar Jackson plays in Baltimore. He can make plays with his arm. I think he has one of the best arms in the National League. He has a rocket arm for his size, being under six foot tall. Make plays with his legs. He's pretty explosive making plays with his legs. I believe in him. Do I believe he could be a top 10 quarterback in this league one day? Absolutely. Do I think I could see him at least winning an MVP or so before the end of his uh, career? Absolutely. But it's all about Kyle Murray wanting to put in the work and to put his ego aside just to be, because your franchise gave you four independent hours of independent studies doesn't mean you go on social media and throw a hissy fit about it. You just got paid $230 million. You're getting paid on a payroll with the Oakland uh, Athletics and MLB as well, making more money than half of your uh, MLB teammates, even though you're not, if, even though you're with the Arizona Cardinals, you make $48 million in baseball. Suck it up and put in the independent work, but obviously that has been scrapped from the contract. So I think at the end of the day, I think both sides are going to be embarrassed of this deal. It's going to be if the Cardinals start off slow and do the same thing that they did back to back years. I'm going to come back on this podcast and say that Kyle Murray is not worth the money. And I'm going to say Kyle Murray should have did that independent study clause for at least four hours. You should be pushing yourself for greatness if you're Kyle Murray. And I think Time will tell if the Arizona Cardinals will regret giving Kyler Murray this type of contract because at the end of the day, he's only he's so young and only entering his fourth season in the NFL. He still has time to jump ship and play some years in baseball before he's 40 years old. So keep that in mind.